Hello everyone, we just had a video where we talked about the ramp of Tesla FSD leading up to the unveiling of Robotaxi on August 8th. Now let's talk about what happens on August 8th and after. Great, that sounds like real fun because we don't have a clue, but we can really have some fun speculating based on, you know, things that Elon has told us in the past. Now then, is it going to be rolled out? My, if I was doing it, I would roll it out in one city. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of a city that has fairly, uh, you know, decent uh, signage. It's probably maybe a city in California, a city in Florida where the signage is good. Uh, a state which is very uh, upbeat with regard to uh, robo taxis, like uh, Florida, Nevada, Texas. These are all states that have been upbeat about uh, allowing them. So. You know, I might I would pick one city and I would allow either it would be Uber only. So Uber drivers who own Teslas would be able to immediately go online uh, and start doing it as a test. Or it might include owners like you and me who could join Uber. OK, and now have availability to the new network provided on the on the uh uh, the the Tesla app. So mm -hmm. those are some of the ways I think you could break into the business. And maybe the deal is with Lyft, maybe it's with Uber, maybe neither, maybe the app is just a Tesla app and mm -hmm. owners would be able to jump on the app if they want to. Now, it might be supervised at first. Mm -hmm. there, therefore, the word supervised having come mm -hmm. into play. I didn't right. see any other reason for that. So it mm -hmm. could be that once this network starts out, it will be supervised only for mm -hmm. the first while. Get some mm -hmm. mileage in, in a city, maybe it's two cities, maybe that may, then you add two more cities and two more cities. And so maybe it takes six months of a rollout with mm -hmm. still drivers in the seat. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, uh, you know, you might hire a guy if you want, you didn't want to, you know, you don't want to go out there for $25 an hour. It's not worth mm -hmm. it to you. Uh, so you hire somebody who you can pay $25 an hour and let them go out and do it just to have your car in the system and have it being worked, see, see how it's working out. So anyway, there's a bunch of possibilities there. And then that opens the floodgate to, well, how much are they going to charge? Are they going to undercut Uber or should they charge more? So, you don't have to deal with a driver. And <laughs> So one of the things that I'm looking at is the August 8th date. Yeah. So the August 8th, 8-8 eight, eight yes. is the you know lucky chinese number right so china has um more um robo taxi approved zones than oh. the united states does oh okay so they they have because they have pony ai oh, they so. have um apollo which is a baidu company they're doing that and then dd and another company are looking to go mass production on robo taxi for 2025. so china um is it has more engineering type people in the regulatory areas and they are willing to look at things based on hard data mm -hmm. and they are pushing for you know a national uh, standard of uh, robo taxi so they if you had something safe that worked right i think they would approve it sooner mm -hmm. than you know i think it's kind of already approved so yeah. there's if, if there's if you're going into zones like in Arizona, Phoenix, all the other places, but then also places in China, they say, okay, I've already approved it. Yep. Come in, you just sign some paperwork, boom, you would come in with a supervised driver. We get some data and then we go unsupervised, just like the other guys did. Right. They've gone unsuper unsupervised, right? right? But they submit the data, you submit the paperwork, everything's good, tick, 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 you're in, right? So if you were going out, you would say, okay, we have to do those zones first. We have to prove ourselves, give the data to the people, also get confidence in it. Because even if you could do it, the, the average person might not believe it and try it out. Right. That's why you so need grok. <laughs> yeah, you need grok, right? And you have that communication so like that too. So even if it could be done, the system is capable of it, that track record of let me show you before we Right. go all the way, right? So it seems like they could do more robo-taxi with uh, China, that they're willing to move faster on it. But still, 
you know, large zones, supervise first. I think supervise first is clearly what has to happen because it doesn't, there's no reason to rush it. You're not making that much more money. You also don't have people have confidence in it. You need to engender that see it works and 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 see it works for many months and then then the adoption happens because you know it, it wouldn't be um you know how many people want to get in the first planes you know even yes. though okay it's, it's it's safer but it's like it's still new i need to know see the other guy do it and then yeah. so what's your feel on that yeah i i think this again that's what i've been thinking is supervise first um you've already got by the way I guess Uber must know this, and they're just turning turning a blind eye to it. There are already Uber drivers that are driving on full FSD uh, in their cars, and they're telling their passengers, and the passengers are, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So there's a lot of fun involved in this as well. Um, I'm not sure Uber would be thrilled, so they might just be, like I say, going, <laughs> we don't want to know. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but this is already happening. And I've said from day one, I definitely believe that there should be a partnership between Uber and Tesla on this. Others have argued with me. I've gotten a lot of clap back on this, that they don't need Uber for anything, that Uber is not that great anyway, um, mm -hmm. that uh, Tesla can get all their own data uh, in terms of where the rides, you know, where the most important, you know, locations are for, for, for these rides and whatnot, or uh, they could buy Lyft for only seven billion and get probably as good a data as they would get from Uber. So anyway, what one way or the other, I would not be at all surprised to see some kind of partnership uh, or or something. Like yeah, that. I disagree with those people who say this mayor and other guys that that say because you can theoretically make eighty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars per year on a robot taxi, that you immediately must go hardball on. All your competition say no deals, no deals. You, know, you must do it this way. I must take it all. I must have the whole piece. Right. It's like in the early phases, while it's scaling up, you can be well. Let's work together on this and get it happen. Like even it can always change the terms and say, "I'm going to get more money later. Yeah. I'm going to we're going to start fifty fifty. We're going to start whatever, and then add this thing scales up to millions of robot taxi, tens of millions of taxi, trillions of dollars." I can start taking more and more because that other money is still under Tesla's control. But they can say, okay, for now, while we're in this uh, getting people comfortable with it phase, let's have more people in the party. And also the, the cost of rolling it out, let's share the costs, right? And, you know, it's I give the partners their return. I still make my return. And we all get out faster and it's all good. There doesn't, there doesn't have to be this adversarial thing. Yeah, and and uh, when I started in business fifty years ago, there was there were very strict relationships between levels. Mm -hmm. Manufacturers didn't sell direct to consumers. Manufacturers didn't sell direct to dealers. Manufacturers didn't. They, manufacturers sold to wholesalers. Wholesalers didn't sell direct to consumers. They sold only to dealers. Dealers sold consumers. Well. All of that. So, so you know, in 50 years ago, if this was happening, Tesla would almost certainly do a deal with Uber <laughs> as the wholesaler, you know, and, you know, and then the wholesaler is dealing with the, the, the driver who's the retailer. Mm -hmm. But that world has completely collapsed now to where manufacturers still sell wholesalers. That same manufacturer is selling direct to retailers, and that same manufacturer is on Amazon <laughs> selling direct to retail so, to consumers. So with that broken down system that we have now, I could easily see Tesla having their own fleet, having, having us, uh, us as the retailers that they're selling to, and then having a wholesaler like Uber be in the middle. All of those things can happen uh, over, over... So my analysis of it is that you don't know how what the adoption, the usage rate of the taxis would be um, in different locations. Like if you're in Manhattan, you know, okay, everything's great. We're going to have a lot of taxi drivers and have a lot of rides. Right. So Manhattan, we're, we're quite sure I want to have my own network, right? But you know, just like Airbnb versus hotels, if I want to make my own hotel, you know, my own fleet in my location, I do it, but I don't want to have a hotel everywhere. I don't want to have a hotel in in um, 
uh, West Bend, West Bend, uh, Lafayette, or Indiana, whatever like that, right? I don't want to have a a big hotel skyscraper, you know, in some other small town, right? It's like so you want to have those low volume zones be things where the where the the owner network is there, the Airbnb network, and then once you prove okay, demand is there, then I build a hotel, I build my own fleet. They already said that they're going to have, you know, they've taken tens of thousands of cars back on lease of Model 3s, Model Y. So they accum Tesla accumulated those cars. So those would be the first Tesla-owned fleet. They said that they wanted to have those vehicles, right? So we already know that they did that. And if we saw them stop selling used Teslas, then we know that they're looking to, um, to make more of their own fleet, sure. right? But they haven't done that. They, they've taken stuff off lease. So we know that they, that's part of the mix. Right. And the other thing was Elon said um, on the licensing, he wants to license to all the other, you know, Ford, everyone wants to license, we'll do it. If I license FSD and Robotax level FSD to other companies, then a Ford vehicle would be riding around with, with a Robotaxi system, mm -hmm. right? If they give them that, you know, level capability away. So then you would let Ford do it, but you would not let Tesla's do it. That doesn't make sense, right? That you would still let Tesla's and Tesla owners do as much or more than a, a Ford, which is on the charging network where the Tesla owners have access to the full network. The other companies only have a half or a third of the station. So, so Tesla can give these tiers of access to, uh, for the charging as well as tiers of access for the robotaxi network so they can fine tune this based upon what people what what the market demand is by specific location mm -hmm. and you know and so also by region so again if if the china or france permits something that could change sure. what sure. the terms of what they're doing so a lot to still find out. But, you know. uh, it's going to be it's going to be exciting times. Who knows what the heck's going to happen? But this is you know all, all speculation. Well, part is speculation based on reasonable uh, uh, understandings of what has been said and what is likely. But we don't actually know what's going to happen. But it's going to be so much fun to watch it unfold. So Brian, I think we've covered this subject backwards, forwards, and inside out for today. Yep. So, yes. Yes. So, yeah. We should let these people go back to whatever they were doing. <laughs> okay. But we have some other videos coming up on, on the Grok question. So I'll be, you know, we'll be talking about that. And then um, also talking about, um, you know, AI and other things uh, a lot more. Great. It's been fun.